Franklin Russell heads the Earth Day Network campaign and watch your face on his virtual wall. Thousands have uploaded photos from Facebook, Instagram, and other social media. We had a couple photos coming from India recently from students who were using recycled plastic bags to make pots for their plants. We had a bunch of people take this through the streets in Bulgaria to protest deforestation and to demand that the government start taking action. You can stop on a photo, turn it over, and read more about it. Or join a live Twitter feed to comment on what you see. Sarah Vant posted this picture. Interviewed on Skype, she explains the shot. Okay, well, the picture is a picture of me and my friend uh, Polo here. <laughs> Polo is my polar bear puppet. Vant is an educator with a nonprofit called EcoActive based in England. Polo helps Sarah explain environmental issues to children. If I talk about the polar bears, he might get a bit sad or... If something, we're talking about something positive, if a child comes up with a brilliant idea for saving energy or reducing um, the emission waste that their family might be using, he might get really excited and maybe do a little dance. Clicking on this picture, another story unfolds of a refugee camp on the Thai-Burmese border. 600 refugees from Burma have lived here since 2007. Caught in a web of ethnic division and politics, they can't return home. Worse, the camp is not recognized by either the United Nations or Thailand. That limits the services they can get. And until the Branch Foundation stepped in, there was no electricity. The nonprofit raised funds to put solar panels on every thatched hut, creating the first refugee camp in the world powered by the sun. Speaking from the camp, Foundation Executive Director Iona Probst says the electricity has greatly improved daily life. Kids' grades have gone up in school. There have been no fires since, and so no one has got burnt. And due to the solar panel project, the money that the residents save on kerosene lamps and candles, they can now buy their own yellow beans. The Earth Day Network brings these people together for the entire world to meet. An eight-year-old child from Cameroon promises to protect the planet. Other children plant trees. These children are climate advocates, says the official from the nonprofit who sent the photos, and adds, imagine what 100 children will do. Tell a collective narrative and hopefully influence change. That prompts the question, on Earth Day, what can one billion people do? Roseanne Skirbel, VOA News, Washington.